Icon. Icon. Right, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahushua being the name of His own begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, let me get the book of Joshua, chapter 7 and verse 19. Right, so what we have to do is talk to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and let you know that you're the children of God, that you're the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, family, ain't got two minutes for the Bible? Y'all got two minutes for the Bible real quick? Yeah. I don't look, I, I'm talking to y'all. Two minutes, just two minutes. Two minutes. Hey, we gonna show y'all some. Yeah, it is a little, hey, hey, we been out here since damn 3.30. We hot. Hey, we hey, look. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, check this out, family. You probably ain't, you probably ain't never heard this before. Did y'all know that God has a chosen people? Yes. Y'all know that. Who, who is God's chosen people? We are. We are. Who are we? We are Hebrew Israelites. So y'all know that. But. You know what I'm saying? Since we know these things, we got to show forth actions. Y'all understand that? All right, let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 12. All right, let me get Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 9. But bring this up, King. Joshua 7 and 19. All right, we, we ain't going to take all your time because it's hot, right? Joshua 7 and 18. And 19. And Joshua said unto Akon, my son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Do what? Israel. I give thee, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel. Right, so we giving glory and praise to the Most High God, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Before we start any type of teaching, that's what we do, right? Who got that Deuteronomy 10 and 12? It's the book of Deuteronomy. Let me get 2 John 12. 1 and 6. Bring it out! And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Right, so y'all know that y'all Israelite, or she does. Do you know that you're Israelite? No. You never heard that. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, but she don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I said I have. Okay, okay. Well, since... She know that she an Israelite. It's certain things that we have to do as Israelites, right? I'm going to show you how you an Israelite, but we're going to show this sister right here. Bring this out, King. Come. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh-huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to do what? But to fear the Lord thy God. Right, so you got to fear the Lord. Read on. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to what? And to love him. Now, how do we love the Lord? Hold that real quick. Bring this out, King. It's the book of 2 John, chapter 1, and verse 6. Bring it out. And this is love. That we walk after his commandments. What is love? That we walk, walk after, after his, his commandments. Right, so you have to walk after the commandments of the Most High God to truly show him that you love him. Right, love isn't just something I profess with my mouth. Like, oh, I love you so much. If I love you, I'm going to show you, right? Read on, King. And to, and, to, and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart right. and with all thy soul. Right. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. Right, so this is what the Lord required of us, to keep the commandments. Right, read on. Of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes, right. which I command thee this day. Right. For thy good. For thy what? For thy good. For thy evil. For, For thy good. No, it's a burden. For, For thy good. good. For thy good, you should keep the commandments of the Lord. Because if you don't, the Lord could put you to death. Right, and we don't want that, right? And we want to live and we want to inherit the kingdom of heaven, right? All right, so now let's get into this, right? Because you said you didn't know that you were Israelite, right? Let me get the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. All right, let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh, let me get Romans, chapter 11, and verse 1 real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, right. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He will do what? Set he will set thee on, on high. high. Right, so the Lord is talking, he made a covenant with the children of Israel. That's us. He said, if we keep the commandments, he's going to set us on high. Right, we're going to be gods of the earth, basically. Right, let me ask you. When you look at the condition of our people, is that what's happening right now? No, right? Our people are bugged out in the streets, strung out on drugs. Right, we in the hoods killing each other. Right, so we're obviously not on high, like the Lord said we would be. Read on. Above all nations of the earth. Above what? Above, Above all nations, nations of the earth. We'll be equal. Above all nations of the earth. Right, so God is plainly telling you he doesn't even want everybody to be equal. He wants us, his chosen people, to be above every other nation. Right, read on. And all these blessings. All these what? And all these blessings. Is a blessing a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Read on. Shall come on thee uh -huh. and overtake thee right. if thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now give me verse 15. So the Lord said, hey, I'm going to give you blessings if you do what I tell you. Right? But if you don't, you know what I'm saying? You got to deal with it. I'm going to give you some bad things to deal with. Read on. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. 
To observe to do all his commandments. To do what? To observe to do all his commandments. Just ten. To observe to do all his commandments. Right, so the Lord said you got to observe to do all his commandments, right? The whole first five books of the Bible is a commandment of the Lord. That's more than just ten. And you got over 500 pages in just the first five books. Right, read on. Which I command thee this day. Right. Fly. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Now let me ask you, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? That's a bad thing. That's horrible, right? Read on. Shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. And overtake thee. Right? So the Lord said if we do what he tells us to do, we'll be good. We're, we're going to be uh, uh, above all nations. But if we don't, we'll be cursed. Right? Now I'm going to show you. He's talking about a special... He's talking about a special group of people. Right? Bring this out, King. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. Bring it out. I say then, had God cast away his people? Right? Had God cast away the children of Israel? God forbid. And that means hell no he has it, right? For I also am an Israelite. What are these people? For I also am an Israelite. What are we? For I also am an Israelite. And we're Israelites, right? Of the seed of Abraham. Right. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Let's sit on that, King. Bring it out. All right, this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people. What are the Israelites? For thou art a holy people. What is this family? For thou art a holy people. Right, so the Lord said that the children of Israel are a holy people, meaning set apart. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. Hold on now. The Lord said he chose thee, right? The Lord set up 18 different nations on this earth, but he chose one group of people. Read on. To be a special people. No, we like it. We like everybody. To be a special people unto himself. So we're a special people unto the Lord, right? Read on. Above all people. No, we're, we're equal. Above all people. Above all people. Read on. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord literally chose us out of 17 different nations, right? He said, hey, you're my people. Y'all going to be above everybody else. Now let's get back into these curses to identify ourselves, right? Because we've been taught that we were just niggas. We were just African Americans. We were just black. Right? But according to the Bible, you're not going to find any of those terms in the Bible. You're not going to find African American in the Bible. And you're going to find Israelite from the tribe of Judah, tribe of Benjamin, tribe of Levi, Simeon, and so on and so forth. Right? Because that's who we are. That's our lineage and our heritage. Let me get the book of Sirach. Let me get uh, Sirach 17 and 11. Right? Let's get back in these curses. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Now let me ask you. Y'all familiar with slavery, right? Hey, the Lord said, Cursed shall you be in the city. Look at this. Oh, excuse me. This is it right here. Right? The Lord said, Cursed shall you be in the city. Right? Whose ancestors did this happen to? The Lord said, Cursed. Hey, we being hung in the streets. Right? Right now, hey, we're not even being hung anymore. But we still being what? Shot down in our, in, in our backs by the police. Right? We're cursed in the city. Why our people are strong at all drugs. Right, the so-called uh, blacks and Mexicans, we in the same hoods, but we hate each other. The Lord said, hey, curse shall you be in the city. Read on. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. Hey, who was up at four in the damn morning picking 40 pounds of cotton? And if you didn't get 40 pounds of cotton, he got about 100 damn lashes. The Lord said, curse shall you be in the field. Right, that's if I ain't reproof. That's talking about us. Right, uh, let me get verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What the Lord say? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What happened to slavery? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right, and even in modern terms with the so-called uh, Mexicans down at the border, ICE is down there literally taking their children. Ice. 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 ice is down there literally taking their children and, and separating homes. The Lord said your, your children will get, be given unto another people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Meaning you're not going to be able to do a damn thing about that. Even in slavery, we could do nothing. Right? And if the slave master decided he was going to sell your son, right? And all you could do is damn beg and plead, ask your master Tom, no, please, you, you damn sitting up there crying. You have no might to do anything about that. Right? Read on. Longing for them all the day long. Right. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Oh. Uh. Right? So, all right, family. So, if you Everybody got to look. Everybody got to look at that count. Hey. If you don't look, Gabar don't count. Uh, drop to verse 36, right? Verse 36. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, 
unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Right, so the Lord brought us into a nation which neither us nor our ancestors had known. Right, read on. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. What are we doing? Shall serve other gods, wood and stone. Now let me ask y'all. Y'all familiar with the Christian church, right? You, you, are you familiar with uh, a lot of our people dibbling and dabbling in different religions such as uh, Muslim, uh, Islam, right? So the Lord just literally told you our people, a curse on our people, we will serve other gods, wood and stone. Now let's deal with this. In the Christian church, when, when pastor call everybody up there to receive prayer, you go to the front of the church and it's a big wooden cross right in front of you with white Jesus on it, right? The Lord just said we will serve other gods, wood and stone. Why are we praying to a large cross that has no might or power, right? Let me get the book of Habakkuk chapter two and verse 18, right? Why, why are we doing that? You got that? Let me get Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 18. Come on. All right, this Habakkuk 2 and 18. Bring it out. What profit is the graven image? What the Lord say? What profit is the graven image? Right, what profit is it sitting up there going to pray to an idol made with men's hands that has no divine power by the Lord? Read on. That the maker thereof have graven uh -huh. the molten image. And a teacher of lies. And a what? And a teacher of lies. What is the wooden cross? And a teacher of lies. What is all these different religions? And a teacher of lies. These are a teacher of lies as curses put upon our people for our disobedience, right? That's it on that, King. Now, let's read on. Come on. And if y'all want to move out the uh, the sun, I know it's beating up on y'all. Y'all can kind of scoot over a little bit. What time is Because after. Free yeah, park, parking free after six. You you gonna be straight? You gonna be? Yeah, no, they, they gotta go. But go ahead. Okay, read on. Now, actually, and thou shalt be. Give me verse forty-five, right? So what now, is... now we identifying these curses. Now we are gonna get right into the nitty gritty, right? We are gonna show you what the Lord said. These curses will be upon us, the children of Israel, for a sign, right? And what do signs do? What do signs do? They show us things, right? Go ahead, bring it out. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake uh -huh. thee. Lot, shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. Right. Till thou be destroyed. Right. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To keep his commandments. To do what? To, to keep, keep, keep his, his commandments. So because we didn't listen unto the Lord and keep his commandments, all these curses were sent upon us. Right? Read on. And his statutes which commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee. For a sign and for, for a wonder. For what? For, for a, a sign, sign and for a wonder. wonder. As you just said, a sign literally tells you something, right? So if I look over there, I say Brazere du Parque, right? That's literally a sign telling me what that is. If I look at my search, it says WFI, Watchmen for Israel. That's a sign telling me what these things are. So these same curses that the Lord be upon the children of Israel are literally identifiers to tell you who they are till to this day. The so-called uh, Israeli or the so-called Jewish man they don't fit these curses. No other nation in the Bible or no other, the so-called uh, Chinese man, they don't fit these curses. The so-called uh, Arabian man, they don't fit these curses. But these so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we fit all the curses to the T, right? That's playing upon tables. Right, read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Right. For the abundance of all things, Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Show you what? Shalt thou serve thine enemies. Right, so hey, what did we do when we got off those slave ships? We served our enemies, right? Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee right? in hunger. And what? In, in hunger. hunger. What's the last thing y'all ate? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Where you get the uh, the produce from? Store. What store? Who owned the store? Do, do your people own the store? No. The so-called white man owned the store. Right? Hey, hey, we don't own H-E-B. Read on. Chapter and, 9 and verse 6. And in thirst and in nakedness. And in what? And in, in nakedness. nakedness. Right, so and in thirst and in nakedness. Where did you get your clothes from? Oh, I somewhere. I mean, but who who owns it? Do we own it? I mean, who... who well, well, I got this from. Somebody, somebody own it. Okay, well, who got... Who did they get the material from? Right. China, probably. probably. Those right. still are our enemies. Right? The Lord said... Say, man, that's say, that's say, right? Hey, the, hey, the Lord said in Mark four and fourteen, when somebody receiving the words of life, a hey, Satan come immediately to kind of take them away, right? 
So we're gonna we gonna kinda if y'all don't mind, y'all can come up, kinda come up a little closer so we can talk. Alright. What I, what was you at, King? Forty uh uh eight. Kind of keep, read, read on. And in one of all things. And in one of all things. So even when you die and you get a death certificate, you still have to go to your enemies to get those things, right? Literally in everything that you want in this life, you want a college degree, you want to be a, a, a NBA star, you, you, if you want to be a big baller, and you got to go to your enemies in one of all things, right? Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall do what? He, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Now look at this. I want you to read that again, King. He shall what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is infallible proof. Literally, it's, it's right here. And it's right there. Right? That's, that goes to show that the words of the Bible, hey, it's a living book. Right? The Lord is not a man that he shall lie. So if he says something, hey, you best believe he's going to do it. Right? Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. Right? Give me verse 54. The verse 54. Came. Right? So now we're going to kind of show you these curses that's within our own community. Right? Especially, especially within the so-called uh, uh, black communities so that the man that is tender among you right and very delicate right because in, in days past right in the ancient days right and we used to love one another why right? we were tender and delicate towards one another right if i seen my brother down you know what i'm saying kind of in a lower state in the street hey by commandment of the law and what's written in my mind and my heart and i gotta go over there to my brother and i'm gonna kind of take him back to my house and restore him to good health right read on his eye shall be evil toward his brother his eye shall be what his eye shall be evil same. toward his brother right let me get 2 Samuel 2 and 26, right? So the Lord said that the so-called black man and the so-called Mexican man will have an evil eye toward his brother. You know what that mean? What that mean? Right, right, uh, 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 chiefly gang violence within our own communities, right? Chiefly hating one another. Right, you got that? Come on, bring it out. Now, now check this, now check this out. Right, this is what happened with in a, in a, uh, oftentimes in our communities, right? With Lil Ray Ray, Lil John John, and, and, and they was kind of claiming another uh, set, and what? They died, right? Bring this out, King. In 2 Samuel 2 and 26. Bring it out. Then Abner called to Joab and said, What did he say? Shall the sword devour forever? What the Lord say? Shall the sword devour forever. How long is gang violence? Shall the sword devour forever. Right, shall the sword devour forever. How long are we going to constantly kill each other over damn blocks that we don't even own? Right, read on. Knowest thou not that it will be the bitterness in the latter end? And it's bitterness in the latter end, right? Hey, picture this. I'm not, gonna, I'm not wishing this upon you, right? But you got a son, right? He, he, got, he grows up and, and starts to partake in, in what? Gang violence and things of that nature. And it's going to be bitterness. It's going to be bitterness in the latter end, right? That he would what? That he might have been shot over standing on a block that he didn't own. That's bitterness in the latter end, right? Let me get that Deuteronomy 28 and 54. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter right. 28. Give me verse 68, right? We go and verse 68. Right, so we're going to get right to the point. Y'all been up here for a quick little minute, right? We're going to get right to the point. Something that you can't, de no, it's okay. Something that you can't deny. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. Let me get Exodus 20 and 2. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, let me ask y'all. Do y'all know what the Israelites were doing in Egypt? No. And we're going to show you, right? Because in Egypt, we was in slavery, right? We was in hard bondage. Bring this out, King. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God. What the Lord say? I am, I am the Lord, Lord thy God. God. Right? The Lord thy God. Meaning he's talking to one uh, group of people. He's saying, yeah, I'm yours. None else. Read on. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Read on. Out of the house of bondage. Bondage. What is bondage? Slavery. Right? Let, let me get that Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Right? So in Egypt, we were slaves. And let me get Revelation chapter 11 and verse 7. Come on, 68 and 11. Come on, uh, 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right? So the Lord said, hey, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. Y'all listening? Right? Hey, you got him, bro? Come, right? So the Lord said he was going to bring us into slavery again. Read on. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. How we get to America? With ships. ships. I, I want to ask the sisters. What? On ships. On ships. The Lord just said we were going to come into slavery again with ships, right? Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now let me ask y'all. Have you ever returned back to your homeland? Right? Because our homeland is Jerusalem. Right, hey, hey, we don't, we're not there no more, 
right? A is given over to aliens and strangers, right? Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your who? Unto, unto your, your enemies. Unto your friends. Unto your enemies. Right, so the Lord said, hey, the children of Israel, we got enemies in this thing, man. The so-called white men, they're not our friends. Because what friend is going to damn take you into slavery, kind of damn have you in their streets, be, hang you on a noose, right? Kind of damn shoot you down in the street, kind of damn take you alive, right? And burn you in front of the, everybody's face, kind of take your men and buck break them, right? Just to make an example. That's not your damn friend. That's your enemy. And that's thus said the Lord. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. Right? And so you go into the Hebrew word buy, it's talking about redeem. That means nobody's going to save us from this captivity. Right? So what we got to do is return it to the Lord. Right? But bring that out real quick, King. Revelation 11 and 7. Right? We're going to show you that America is spiritual Egypt. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. And when they shall have finished their testimonies, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war it's against them. What was that? Uh, uh, eight. Come on, verse eight. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. Right. Which spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right now, America is literally spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. America's called Sodom and Egypt because of one, the homosexuality that's being pushed, right? And I, I received the alert on my phone talking about the Disney executives, and they said, yeah, we've been pushing queerness, or another word for gay, into these Disney shows, right? That, your son watches Disney, right? These little children, they watch Disney. Why is it that America is pushing all this homosexuality in the kids' shows, right? Because why? This is uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, read on. Which is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, it's Egypt. Why? Because this is the land of the slaves. Right, the Lord said in Nahum 3 and 1. Right, um, let me get Nahum 3 and 1 real quick. Right, because this, this land is, is literally called uh, Sodom and Egypt because we're, we're the slaves here. Right, Egypt it represents slavery and hard captivity and bondage. Salakia, it's a uh, pyramid on the back of your dollar bill. Right, exactly. Why? Y'all know? Uh, Nahum 3 and 1. You got the slave for that dollar. It's a slave now. That's right. Come on. It's Nahum 3 and 1. Let me get Deuteronomy 30. It is all full and verse of lies. One. What is America? It, it is, is all full of lies. Right, because America told you you was just niggas. You was just black African queens, right? Hey, but the Bible, right, the one true God said that you're Israelites. You're his chosen people, right? And the kingdom of heaven is established for you. That's what the Lord, that's what the Lord said. Read on. And robbery. Uh-huh. The prey departed not. What the Lord say? The prey departed not. Right, we're that prey that was taken captive from our homeland, right? And we depart not. So that's why America is called uh, Sodom and Egypt, right? Because Egypt represents slavery and we haven't left back to our homeland, right? So now we're going to show you real quick, because y'all been up here for a cool little minute, but right? we're going to show you the things that we ought to do, right? But let me ask you first, what's your nationality? Oh, sis. According to the Bible, what's your nationality? You a what? You kind of gotta say that. You kind of gotta say that louder and prouder. Israelite. That's your, that's all y'all nationality, right? Your hat is black. Hey, hey. Your hat is black. Let me let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 37 real quick, right? We're just gonna show you that you're not any of these uh, derogatory terms, right? Like he said, hey, the color of your hat that's black. The color of her shirt that's black, right? We're Israelites, right? Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and uh -huh. a byword among all nations, right. whether the Lord shall lead. So the Lord said we would become a proverb, a, a astonishment, and a byword, right? Which represents what? African American, niggas, niggers, uh, spicks, black. Those are bywords. We don't address ourselves in such terms, right? We address ourselves as the children of God, the Israelites. You understand? So I'm going to ask all y'all, what's y'all nationality? Israelite. All praises to the Most High. Right, so now we got to show y'all the things which is required of y'all in these last days, right, in order to achieve salvation and to make it to the kingdom of heaven, right? Y'all want to make it to heaven, right? Yeah. Right, everybody want to make it to heaven, right? Hey, but it's not for everybody. It's only for a select few, right? You got that, King? Deuteronomy 10 and 12, or you want Revelation 20? No, nah, we already got 10 and 12. 12. Uh, get uh, Deuteronomy 30. Oh God, oh God. Let me get 2nd Edris chapter 9 and verse 6. Uh -huh. That is the book of Deuteronomy. Let me get Revelation 22 and 14. And it shall come to pass 
when all these things come upon thee, right? The blessing. The what? The blessing. What do we tell them? The blessing. Right. So we tell y'all the blessing. Right. Read on. And the curse. And the curse. Which I have set before thee. Right. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. Right. Whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Right. So that's what we out here doing. We we out here prophesying the blessing and the curse of the Israelites. Right. That's y'all. That's us. Right. Read on. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. And shall what? And shall return unto the Lord thy God. What this family got to do? And shall return unto the Lord thy God. So we got to return to the Lord our God. Right? Read on. And shall obey his voice. And shall do what? And shall obey his voice. Right? Read. According to all that I command thee this day. Right. That thou and thy children. That who? That thou and thy children. And so that means you too, little man. What's your name? Sir Carter, right? So that means, yeah, that's mighty, right? And that's a king name, right? And so that means you too, Sir Carter. Read on. To all that I command thee this day, right. thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Right. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. What the Lord gonna do? That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. So if we return with our whole heart and our whole mind to serve the Lord and keep all his commandments, he's gonna reverse our captivity. You're not going to see any more uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans strung out on drugs. We're going to be in our, in our God-given role, right, as gods, princesses, and, and judges on the earth, right? We're not going to be at the bottom of society, right? It's going to be our kingdom, right? Ah! Read on. And have compassion upon thee, mm -hmm. and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. Right? That's it on that, King. Bring this up. It's the book of Second Edges, chapter 9 and verse 6. Bring it out. Even so, the times also of the highest have plans beginning. Right. And wonders and powerful works. Right. And endless in effect. So like it, and endless in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved. What the Lord say? And everyone, everyone that, that shall, shall be saved. saved. Let me ask y'all.